Hello everybody. Uh, was down at my dad's house. It's the house I grew up in. And uh, London was interested in finding some of my old G.I. Joe toys. Uh, and so we were looking for them. Found some things that he was happy with, uh, that he can play with. But uh, come across some things that I didn't know that dad still had that were mine. And some of it is artwork. Uh, some of it is not. Uh, but uh, I thought people might be interested in seeing some of my old art and some of my things uh, when I was a kid and maybe how some of that has uh, carried over into the work that I make now. So let's open this thing up. It's very dirty, uh, but here we go. <laughs> All right, so in pilfering around through this stuff, I found some of my old toy guns. Now you'll notice here I got electrical tape that was given to us by one of our relatives that works in the coal mines. And uh, when a toy broke, I couldn't just throw it away. I had to figure out some way to fix it to keep going with it. So that's one of my toys, a couple of old guns. This was the first model plane that I ever put together. It's an, uh, an F-4 Phantom. It's the Wild Weasel uh, Squadron airplane. And I never realized or even thought when I was a kid, when I put this thing together, we bought this thing at Rose's, that someday I would be stationed at the Wild Weasel Base in Japan, gassing up airplanes, and some of these old F-4 Phantoms were still there, uh, being used by the Japanese Air Force. So that's the first model plane I ever put together. This, of course, is just one of my toys, and London was very interested in this. So the, some sort of, I don't know what you call it, but I really enjoyed that thing. And this was my uh, bath buddy. He's very moldy. He'll clean up, I think, but this was a little dog friend of mine. And Dora had one of these as well. Has a little handle in the back that you, you could bath with it uh, and you could wash it and then he would do like that to dry his ears. There he is. Uh, let's see. I don't see a date on it. Had to be in the mid 80s, probably, I'd say. All right, then this was one of my favorite toys. It was a car where the pistons moved in the back. Uh, my dad bought this from a flea market fella who's also a member of the church where uh, I grew up going. His name's Paul Crump uh, and it's called the Holiday Buggy. And I played with this thing for years and it used those big old batteries and it would run out of power so fast. Uh, you could go through a set of batteries just in a few minutes with it. But it was really awesome. All right. This is my old Pac-Man toy bank. You put the coin in it and pops the coin into Pac-Man's mouth. My sister had one of those things that you could do lettering with and she put that on there for me. Yeah, so that's him, and you could take the coins out the bottom. Pac-Man bank, that's gotta be a collector's item. Uh, an old toy car that I sanded and then painted. Remember that thing very well. A uh, toy artillery gun. I mean, I played with all this stuff. Uh, this was my hunting cap that my dad bought me at, mm, I guess at Roses, probably, in Wise. And I was wearing this the first time I ever shot a, a squirrel and killed it. Uh, went squirrel hunting, and I was wearing this hat. Yep. Uh, let's see. Here is my first karate gi. Right here. There it is. That's my first karate outfit right there. And I've got my others as well in here. And they're in pretty good shape still, all of them. All my karate geese. Uh, this is uh, my Aunt Faye used to do a radio show and she had a character that she performed music with and she was called Wild Granny, and here's her t-shirt. I remember she gave me that. The Wild Granny Show, WMMT. Uh, what else have I got here? Here's my favorite coat that I had. 
and I painted these dragons on it. This thing, I wore this in my first couple of years of high school. And this was my favorite coat. And I drew those dragons on it. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm not go through everything, but this is very special because this was the company that my Uncle Jack worked for. And he brought this cap in and gave it to my dad. Virginia Concrete up in Alexandria, Virginia. And my dad gave that cap to me. And I'd always wondered where it was at. Well, there it is. I've got it now. Uh, here's my cowboy vest that I wore all the time. London says there's a picture of it somewhere with me wearing this. I'm sure there is because I wore it all the time. Uh, I was on a little baseball team called the Honey Camp. Coal Company uh, baseball team. Uh, my favorite Harley Davidson t-shirt that I wore. It's almost so thin you can see through it. There it is, my Harley Davidson shirt. I was surprised that thing was still around. Uh, my dad's cap and 83 gas and grocery cap. I wore all these caps. Uh, 83 Gas and Grocery is a gas station that still is in existence. Uh, and they sold, you know, they had a little uh, store and whatnot, and everybody shopped there. 83 Gas and Grocery. All right, let's see. Uh, of course, I had the X-Men t-shirt. Uh, my karate class t-shirt, which I can still wear, I think. And Shaolin Do Karate, it was called Karate when actually it was Kung Fu, but it was more marketable at that time as calling it Karate. So the guy that owned the franchise called it Karate instead of Kung Fu. Uh, and here is something that my uh, brother-in-law got me. And I hung this in my room for a long time. <laughs> That's an ACDC flag. <laughs> I think he bought me that at a flea market or something. Gave it to me. It was Herbert. Herbert Mead. Uh, all right. Here is my bunny that I had when I was a, a, a small child. Uh, I had him. I think my sister had him first. And then it was given to me. And uh, I had him all through my childhood. And here is my Rick. Hardy's, these came from Hardy's. Hardy's sold these. And I had uh, Digger too. I don't know where Digger's at. Uh, I, it was a cartoon that was popular in the 80s. I'm sure some of y'all remember it. Uh, there's my old ball glove. And another one. But let's see. Yeah, here we go. This is my first attempt at airbrushing when I was about 14 or 15, about 15 years old. And it wasn't long after that that I gave up airbrushing. I just could tell I didn't have a knack for it. There it is. And here I guess is probably the first t-shirt that I ever designed that went to screen printing. It was for Odyssey of the Mind, which I was a member of. So there it is, there's the t-shirt. First, first time I ever designed anything like that. And here's my little coat. And my mama sewed that eagle on the back of it for me because I was big into motorcycles. There's my little coat. <laughs> and let's see. There was something cool in here. Some of my old drawing tools, but there's a design I did that became uh, a thing for a football team that we used to play, but they made pins out of it. Can you see it? It's a blue knight. I guess that was the Coburn, Coburn Blue Knights or something like that. And I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, what else have I got here? Some of my old toy army trucks. And this is what London was after big. He was what, 
was hoping I still had this old GI Joe tank, and I do. It's still got the still got the old decals on it. There he is. He needs to be cleaned up. Uh, I could not believe this, but the Sky Shark Nintendo game, and still got the game in it. Look at that. Ain't that pretty cool? I love that game. It was the only game I was any good at. I still never beat it. Uh, ba uh, football cards, I'll not get into them, but that's pretty neat. And then here, a lot of y'all know that I used to want to be a comedian, and I, I was interested in uh, ventriloquism. So he's molded a little bit. But this was my first real ventriloquist dummy or figure. He's molded, but his name's Danny O'Day, and I bought this shirt for him at L.A. Joe's over there where the Family Dollar used to be here, a store here in Clintwood. But he's this was given to me by Avon, Avon Moore, who lives in Nora. He a, was a great ventriloquist in our area, and he wasn't using it anymore, so he gave it to me. And there he is. Still have him. Need to clean him up. Oh, uh, Dor says I need to do it. Let's see. Uh, Hello there. How are you today? My name is Danny O'Day. Hello. Yeah. Uh, and here, before my mom and dad would get me a dummy, and of course they wound up not having to buy me one, I was given one. I made this guy out of a sock and some sweatpants. And rubber bands so there he is see him <laughs> hey there boy how are you today he had little arms here I made out of rubber bands for him <laughs> that's just making do with what you got ain't it? and I've still got his original coat and everything in here, this this little dummy. This was a suitcase my mom gave me to store all my dummies in. All right, and then here, uh, I was surprised Dad still had this, and it's partially termite eaten, so I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's the first book I ever read. I read it one summer. I think I was in about sixth grade. Uh, it's called The Blood Red Belt. I read this whole book, and it was the first book that I ever read and I've kept a record of every book I've ever read and this is the first one on my list all right now the artwork here we go there's a lot of it and I'll not go through all of it but here's one of my early cartoons that I did a little uh, comic uh, little paintings that I did some of this was in 1993 it looks like so I was just learning to to paint at that point there's another one these were on little canvases I got from Walmart there's another one of a swamp this is one that apparently I entered into a fair and it's an ocean scene and I got a blue ribbon on it this was probably in about 93, too. Yeah, I see it here on the back, 1993. Another little landscape. And there's something, I'm not sure what it is, but I don't know. I was trying something. All right, and then I had a lot of drawings that I found. I just happened into these, but there's Spider-Man. This would have been probably about 90, 92. 93. No, it says 94 right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah. There's some characters that I drew. <laughs> uh, here's a trout. Here's the, uh, oh, what's his name? Rawhide Kid. I used to collect some of those old comics. This would have been probably in the real early 90s. These are very early too. These are the little characters. 91, 1991. Uh, 
uh, airplanes. I was always in the military aircraft, airplanes of all kinds, really. There's old Jessica Rabbit, remember her? A Mr. Smith, an attempt at an eagle. A drawing of a, a, a Luger pistol, I guess. And I drew all that freehand. I didn't use any tools for that. Uh, there's a, one of my first watercolorings I ever did. I've got several of my first watercolors. Here's something I entered into a contest. I, I sketched that out of a Conan comic book. Uh, here's another watercoloring, one of my first ones. I remember these, I remember everything. I remember all of these things. I remember doing them. Here's a nice little landscape in watercolor with a hunter out there. But I got 1992 on that. Dora says she wants to frame that one. Here's Conan, always a big Conan, still collect Conan stuff. Here's my attempt at a wildlife. Bird, watercolor. There. 92. This was even before I started high school, I guess. Or I just started high school. My first attempt at perspective. Some of my first attempts, and of course a tree. There's another watercoloring, all done about that same time. I was learning to throw salt on it. And that's how I got some of that speckled look. It's a nice eagle. And this is just a small fraction of the drawings I made. I mean, I was an art making machine as a kid. I worked every evening at it. And just like London's very much the same way. Here's some characters, a wolverine and some alien. Here's a deer. I remember this drawing so well. I was very proud of it. Right, there's a character from Conan, I believe. And war was something that always fascinated me. So I did a lot of soldiers and war drawings from photographs. Here's a guy that's called a shark. <laughs> and like I said, it just comes back to you. I remember him so well. Yeah, here's another soldier I did. So my interests haven't changed all that much. You know, I'm still very much interested in a lot of the same stuff. There's probably one of the first interior perspective drawings I ever did. A war scene. Uh, more military equipment than on just notebook paper. Uh, here's the, the Mitsubishi, uh, the Zero, Japanese Zero. Uh, some little dog, another dog. I've always liked dogs real well. Here's a kingfisher. <laughs> I just think it's cool to be able to look back over some of your old artwork, and there's more of it down there. I've seen more of it, and I'll have to try to get some of the others and show them some other time. A little scene with a boat. A cat. You know, and all of this is just stuff I did trying to learn and trying to become an artist, you know. That was, I was learning how to do hatching and, and form things with ink pen, with a point, with a, a, a line, you know. Here's a mermaid.
I don't know for sure, but I believe maybe that was supposed to be my Uncle Jen, I think. I think. That might be who that was supposed to be. Because he was in the Navy in World War II. Another attempt at watercolor. Uh, more comic stuff. I was really interested in being a cartoonist. There's an old Batman. <laughs> the guy with the Kwando. Yeah, here. I remember this one so well and wondered about it. It's Conan. And a uh, Conan battle scene. Yeah, London wanted to see this one for sure. Uh, Ghost Rider. London really likes Ghost Rider. Oh, let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, here we go. A nice trout. Not too bad. And almost done, almost done here. Let's see. Let's see if there's any more really cool ones really early. Here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one is very special. This is the house I grew up in. I remember drawing this. It was a fall evening, late fall. Uh, and I got, went up and sketched it from on top of the hill uh, above my house. There it is. That's probably my favorite one out of everything I've found. Very much so. And here's one in 1988. 1988. There's several in here from 88. And no, I can't really remember painting that much, but I remember these now that I've seen them uh, that, back that early. I would have been about the sixth or seventh grade. These are all from 1988. This was a, a, a horse that I learned to draw. This was 87, 1987. I had a book on how to draw horses. I bought it at uh, the book sale at Clintwood Elementary. And then here's my probably one of my first attempts at ink brush some robot so hopefully you've seen this work and you say wow sean still paints about a lot of the same things today or see how some of this stuff maybe is seen in my work still but uh, thank y'all for uh viewing i hope you enjoyed it